Hello my beautiful Cancers and welcome to your early April 2022 love reading. I hope you're doing well. By the looks of the pre-shuffle, there's a light-hearted, fun and lusty connection going on for you at the moment. We have infatuated love, we have fun connection and we have tease. Okay, so I think the problem for you in early April is that there's a level of uncertainty about where this is headed. Does this person want to take things to the next level? Are they serious about you? That kind of thing. You may start to get a little bit um, possessive towards this person as the uncertainty gets worse <laughs> as time goes on. But you've got divine timing. Um, so it says your love life will soon experience a serendipitous event. Okay. Some of you may have met your person at work. We have office affair. And we have intellectual affair as well. So it looks like this person um, has very good banter with you. They intellectually stimulate you. You know, they challenge you in that department. Um, you've got be cautious not to allow others to get in, in the way of this upcoming relationship. We have open relationship. So it definitely looks like it's a casual connection with infatuated love um, and playing the field. It definitely doesn't feel committed here, okay? So let's take a look at who you're dealing with. All right. I wonder what this divine timing is all about as well. I'll have a look at what that serendipitous event might be. All right, Angels and Spirit, who is Cancer dealing with in love in early April 2022, please? Who is Cancer dealing with in love? Excuse me. <laughs> Who is Cancer dealing with in love, please, in early April 2022? Yeah. And there it is, we have the Hierophant in the reverse. So there's definitely not a commitment going on here. Someone isn't yet ready to take the leap of faith and go on a new adventure in this connection. They're keeping it very, very light and fun with the Sun card. You may be dealing with a Gemini, you've also got Leo energy here, Taurus and Aries. Um, there's a level of resistance, someone's keeping you at arm's length. Um, and the Page of Pentacles in the reverse this can be breadcrumbing, you know, it's someone who's dropped the ball a little bit, they're not investing a lot in this connection. Um, with the lover's card, yes, there's lust, yes, there's a strong chemistry, um, but it feels casual. With this lover's card, it feels like, again, there's interference, there may be a third party, we'll have to check it out. We do have lots of major arcana cards here though, so um, that's interesting. There's another Leo card here with the Strength card. That is definitely the challenge you're facing. The fact that you want this to be exclusive and it's casual. Okay, so the Nine of Pentacles is in the reverse. Um, and we have the Four of Cups. So it's like your person is resisting making things official. Okay, and it's causing you to be... Um, it's causing you to overcome maybe a sense of rejection. Maybe um, it's causing you a little bit of fear and anxiety um, about this person not being emotionally available. Okay. It looks like this person's quite detached. We have the King of Swords here. Divine timing is the message definitely again with this Temperance card. Um, it's going to take this time, this person time to open up to you, all right, and give to this connection. We have the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse and the Ten and, and the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. It's just reflecting that it's, again, casual energy, something that is yet to be grounded. It hasn't yet got, gotten off the ground. Interesting that we have two pages in the reverse. 
So I feel like this person's enthusiasm might wane. Their communication might drop off a little bit. And this is what's ca causing you that anxiety and uncertainty about where this is headed. Um, we have the six of pentacles in the reverse. I feel like this is a caution for you not to keep giving and giving and overcompensating for this person's lack of effort. I feel like you should be the hanged man in the reverse. Don't give up on this connection just yet, but don't be um, overcompensating. I feel like with the Hermit card, you may need to take some time out, retreat from this connection and just um, see where this person's at. Yeah, we have the King of Pentacles in the reverse. It's just a reflection of this person not investing in this connection. With all of these pages, they're not, you know, developing. They're not developing this connection. They're curious about you, but it's um, it's got a long way to go in terms of solidifying this connection. This is you, Queen of Cups in the reverse. Your emotional needs aren't being met. This person does have romantic feelings though. We have the Knight of Cups and we have the Ace of Wands here, but it just, it seems very casual. Yeah, Four of Wands in the reverse. All right. So, let's see what else we can get here. What's going on for Cancer in love in April, early April 2022, please? What's going on for Cancer, early April 2022? Desires, freedom. They don't want a relationship at this time. They're happy being single. Okay. out of fear spirit is saying don't keep um, going along with this person on this person's terms hoping that they'll change their mind don't stay in this connection out of fear that you won't meet someone who you're as infatuated with you deserve someone who's like all in with you right let's see what else does cancer need to know Early April 2022. All right. We have immaturity. Their immature behavior prevents them from coming forward. They refuse to admit that they have feelings for you. Yeah, we have commitment issues. Fear of commitment due to early childhood or past experiences. You've reached a dead end. Choose to leave with dignity and strength and get unstuck in love. They will, they will miss your attention, the attention that you're currently giving them. Um, they'll start to feel lonely and crave it once you've distanced yourself. Um, so I feel like you're very, very infatuated with this person and you may have kind of, um, you may have fallen victim to the illusion of being with this person in a relationship. So you've been holding on to that. You've been hanging on under false hopes that this person's going to change their mind. I feel like the only way um, pro progress may happen is if you distance yourself and this person will be forced to, um, you know, work up the courage to express their true feelings. And, and take the necessary action, but I mean, it's not guaranteed. Let's let's see what your advice is. Actually, I wanna see what's, what is standing in between you and them, because we got interference, right? What is standing between Cancer and their person of interest in early April, 2022?
What is standing between Cancer and their person of interest in early April 2022, please? Three of Cups in the reverse. It could be friends. Um, it could be, you know, this person's social circle. It could be that you work with this person and they're worried about the the optics of being with you. You know, what will colleagues think, things like that. Um, with all of those pages, it could be that this person has responsibilities with children. But let's see, what is standing in between Cancer and their person of interest in early April 2022, please? What is standing between Cancer yeah, see, it, it will be work for some of you. Eight of Pentacles. What is standing between? What is standing between Cancer and their person of interest in early April 2022, please? Some of you, it may be distance, okay? We have the Six of Swords and we have the Chariot in a reverse here. Um, the Chariot in the reverse talks about this person's duality, this person's not knowing which way they want to go. You know, one day they'll be this way, the next day they'll be that way. It seems like they're wrangling with something internally, okay? Um, it, they may just need a time out. They may just need some respite. You know, the Four of Swords talks about the need for healing and rest and recuperation. So you might just need to give this person some, some time and space. Um, getting strong Capricorn energy coming through here with the King of Pentacles next to the Devil. This could be um, a, this person's obsession with money. They're feeling bound by something. They're feeling bound by their responsibilities. Either work or their family responsibilities. We have the Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups. Hmm. Interesting, two Aces as obstacles. There's a disconnect with this person. It's like they equate sex with love and then when they start to catch feelings, they... Um, withdraw um that's what i'm getting with this ace of wands and this ace of cups they prefer being single they've got the nine of pentacles here they do desire freedom family responsibilities could definitely be the blockage with this king of pentacles and this ten of pentacles and this justice card which can be marriage but they're weighing things up um a boss could be getting in the way of this connection is what I'm getting with this King of Pentacles and this King of Wands. They're definitely weighing things up. They're at a crossroads. They need time. Um, yeah. Okay. All right, let's see what your advice is. <clears throat> I'm going to use the tarot and then I'm going to use some oracle cards for your advice. Angels and Spirit, show me what is Cancer's advice in love in early April 2022, please. What is Cancer's advice in early April 2022? With this page of pentacles in the reverse, I feel like it's just another... Um, indication that you should stop investing um stop trying to make plans with this person stop initiating conversation i feel like this person needs some time out what is the advice for cancer in love in early april 2022 please 
Yeah, so the same messages keep coming out. There's that Four of Swords again, the need for respite, the need for a timeout. Let's see what the Simple Love Advice cards say. Okay, so you've got playing victim. This card says um, you can continue playing the role of the victim or you can stop that way of thinking and take responsibility for your own actions. Let go of your fear and trust that you'll be safe. So when we relinquish our power, when we you know give it away to someone else and we allow the other person to dictate the, the, you know, the outcome of something, that's how we play the victim. Or we play victim to circumstance. We feel like things are happening to us rather than for us. I want you to change your perspective, Cancer. Okay. Um... There's something you actually have the power to change. If you feel like you're going round and round in this per with this person and um, it's stuck energy and you want to change the outcome, you have to do something differently. Okay, so this card says you can't expect this, the, a different result if you keep doing the same thing. So ask yourself what it is that you want and then change the things within your own control to achieve your goals. So if you keep agreeing to whatever this person wants to do, like have a casual relationship with you, then they're not going to change anything because they get to have their cake and eat it, right? So if you take away what they're getting from you, i.e. casual relationship, your, your attention, your infatuation, your lust for them, if you take that away, and you distance yourself and you detach from this connection, they have to do something, whether it's be honest with you and say, um, look, I, I was probably treating you unfairly. I was probably giving you the impression that I was wanting a relationship when I wasn't really, and I'm sorry. Or they'll step it up and they'll say, I do want more than just a casual connection, but I, I need a bit of time. But you're going to have to do something different instead of enabling their behavior. And you've got um, cards here saying you're going to have to ma manage your own expectations. Um, so get out of your head and stop thinking about how this connection should be at this point um, and detach from the plan. Um, so let go of, yeah, again, let go of how you think things should be playing out. Um, you're, you're too attached to a particular outcome. You need to go with the flow a little bit more and understand that what's yours will be yours. It will not pass you by, okay? All right, so let's see what else Spirit has for you. Release potential. Okay, so it says when you realize and accept who you are, you'll release this potential and your gifts for all to enjoy. Discover your uniqueness and share your gift with all on your path. So instead of pouring all of your attention on this person who you're infatuated with, I feel like you need to focus on your own projects, your own creative pursuits, and um, realize your potential in another area of your life. You have wisdom. By listening to your intuition, you'll access the infinite well of wisdom that's within you. Listen and act on your intuition and let this energy return to you. You have all of the answers within you and you've got light in your life. Invite the light into your life. Let go of your burdens and fears to lighten your load. You will shift your vibration and simple ease will flow into your life. 
Okay, so feel the light and the simplicity that it offers you. Interesting, okay. Um, I'm gonna do another advice deck. Yeah, anything you can't control is teaching you how to let go. You can't control the outcome of this. You can't control whether this person is going to step up to the plate and choose you. Um, so all you can do is surrender to the divine. Let go of your tight grip of how you think things should be, which is what I've just been telling you, and how quickly you think they should be coming together and simply let things run their own course. <clears throat> you've got love and respect yourself I feel this goes to that message of if you're not wanting a casual relationship if you're wanting more than that with this person um, don't give of yourself too freely because that's when you lose respect for yourself um the deck you've got play hard to get now obviously I don't condone playing mind games and just games in general but sometimes you do need to play the game of love otherwise you'll lose whether you want to play or not um, so it says if they feel you'll always be there no matter what they do playing hard to get will interrupt that mentality and they'll value more what they have to work for so don't be so available cancer okay um, be patient, don't rush it, and don't put them on a pedestal that they haven't earned. Keep your boundaries strong without bending them, okay? So let's have a look at some general messages for you. I'm going to use the Moonology Manifestation Deck. Little messages for cancer in early April 2022, please. You've got a tune to the divine. your power so that's about no longer relinquishing your power to other people it's about taking responsibility for your own feelings your own circumstances and not playing the victim push through any insecurity so it's it's hard to not take it personally when someone doesn't want to offer you commitment but very, very rarely is it about you, right? Okay. What's going on with the cancer? Yeah, you need to change your, your perspective. You need to see things differently. Um, Reevaluate. Yeah, this whole reading has been about your person and leveling up or the lack of leveling up. And the card says you deserve the best. So don't settle for someone who can only offer you something casual when, if you're honest with yourself, you want more than that. Yeah, I was going to ask about a serendipitous event. We've got divine meeting. An encounter is on the horizon, magical alignments of events. Yeah, this person needs time. Don't put your life on hold while you wait for this person to decide what they want with you. Um, 
some of them may have unre unresolved issues with their ex, but you know, that goes in with the whole family responsibilities um, getting in the way. What are the messages for cancer about this person and where their head is at? Yeah, I bet it's best I maintain a distance between you and I. I'll continue to watch you from a distance. They are keeping you at arm's length, Cancer. It's not a good time to push hard for answers. You may not like the outcome. Wait for it to come to you. other priorities that need my attention right now please be patient I feel like this has been a message for a while for you cancer you might be starting to get really tested in terms of your patience they're kind of inciting jealousy within you um, they're definitely pulling the strings in this connection we've got I'm going to use manipulative tactics to have my way with you um, and they're popping in and out of your life whenever they please, which is not very nice. And I was kind of getting that with the page of pentacles in the reverse. Let's see what their vices are. What's their shadow side? You know, everyone has a shadow side, that side of us that we like to hide from the rest of the world. Um, let's see who you're really dealing with. What, what are their vices? What are their vices, please? Yeah, they're fragmented, definitely, I can feel that. Um, so, someone who feels torn in, in a few different directions, they aren't, they aren't able to commit to you because of other priorities and interferences, um, but this card says, I change my personality frequently. This person might have, like, a different personality if you work with them, and they might have, you know, a different mask on at work. They come across as very professional and they act like they barely know you from a bar of soap. And then behind closed doors, they might be sweet as pie. Um, so it's really hard to kind of know what you're gonna get with this person on a day-to-day -day basis. Gossip keeps coming up, so they like to talk about others. That could be the interference coming um, coming in and sabotaging this connection. There's too many people that know what's happening between the two of you, and they fail to keep things private and sacred. Yeah, I do feel like there's a part of this person that's standoffish. It could be at work, as I said, they pretend like they don't know you. They act aloof and impersonal, and that can be hurtful, right? Um, one more, please. I'm getting immaturity that came up earlier. Um, sex is their weakness. I definitely feel like they can, they're, they're not above using people for sex and they create space to protect themselves so that they're distant emotionally and probably physically. Okay. All right. So, um, I'm going to just use a, a brand new deck that I got today for a general message for you, Cancer. What does Cancer need to know? Early April 2022, please. What does Cancer need to know in early April 
So you've got the seahorse and it says be confident and assertive, be in your divine masculine energy or try and balance the yin and the yang within yourself. Everyone has divine masculine and feminine energies. Um, in this case, in this love situation or just in general, spirit wants you to harness your divine masculine energy, which is about taking inspired action, which is about doing, which is about going after that which you want. Instead of um, holding back in your feminine receptive state, you've got shipwreck, it says find closure, the end of a phase or cycle. Okay. Sometimes we have to give ourselves closure because we can't rely on other people to give us answers if they can't even be honest with themselves about their feelings and about what it is that they want. So, you know, think about that, how you can give yourself closure. I'm going to just get one more message from the Wisdom of the Oracle, and it's going to be in relation to this connection, which I feel might have been the source of a lot of confusion for you recently in terms of where it's going. Peace in the reverse, and one more, please. There's too many there. It's all right, Dolly. It's okay. It's okay. My dog reverse sneezes sometimes. She's getting old. Message for Cancer. Early April 2022, please. Okay, and you've got soulmates in the reverse. Okay. Interesting that you've got two fives. Um, peace is number 23, two plus three is five, and soulmates is 41, four plus one is five. Five is the number of, you know, change. Um, so let's see, peace in the reverse says, now is a time for calmness and well-being in spite of temporary conditions. Even if there are dissonant notes in the music of your life, all that means is that you must go within, and we saw the, the hermit card, and fine tune the extraordinary instrument that you are. Find harmony within yourself and don't look to the outer world to provide certainty. So this person is definitely not going to give you the certainty that you seek. So spirit is saying this too shall pass and once again your life will be filled with beautiful music. Um, some of you may like to turn to music um, for healing. You know, sometimes when I'm feeling a bit down I like to sing. Singing is one of my things. Um... And soulmates in the reverse is saying an important relationship brings you to your knees. This is the kind of soulmate who comes with a powerful gift. Your patterns, which came up, and all your old stories that don't serve your well-being enter into this dynamic so that you can heal them. This person is called to a sacred task to help you learn even if it seems uncomfortable, sticky or even inconceivable. The question is not why did he or she do this to me, but rather what is the gift in this? Look into the mirror, you'll only be changed for the better. Okay. And I just want to quickly have a look at the next card that was kind of determined to come out. It was chop wood in the reverse. And again, it's about the need for you to be in your divine masculine energy and go out and, and go after something. This could be totally unrelated to this connection. This could be in relation to your, your um, creative pursuits. So it's saying that you might be devoting far too much time to dreaming and talking about your dreams and spirit wants you to get out of the chair and start to make things happen. Um, start with a small task. Remember the big dream becomes reality only after you've begun to take incremental steps. Take one step towards the gods and they will take 10 steps towards you, okay? So I hope this reading was helpful, Cancer. Do like this video and um, leave your feedback in the comment section and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.